Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Worst Possible Commander Show. It's me, it's CGB, and today we are going to play some sick epic commander games brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. Use the promo code CGB5 and you can get a 5% discount. Also, leave a comment and the winner of the game at the end of the video is going to choose their favorite to get a $50 Cool Stuff Inc. gift code. Also, shout out to the people who've won. If you have, make sure you get in touch with us or you won't get your $50. And that that's weird and sad. And why Super would sad. why would anybody leave a $50 gift code on the table? Why, Blake? Why I don't know. They... I don't know. I didn't ask. But they have. I can't believe it. Don't that. let that be you. All right. <laughs> so today uh, I'm here with, of course, my friends. We got Ben. We got Blake. We've got Shay. And our version of Rule Zero is to talk about the worst possible thing our deck can do to everybody else at the table. So going first, I'm going to introduce my commander. My commander is Kosima, the god of the voyage, and this card has basically an ocean of text on it, uh, but how would I describe it? This is a 2-4 legendary creature god for three mana, and at the beginning of my upkeep, when I can exile Kosima. And if I do, from then on, whenever I play a land, I put a voyage counter on the exile Kosima. Or when I play, I can play a land and decide to bring Kozma back to the battlefield with that many plus one plus one counters, and I draw that main card. So basically, I want to exile this, and then I want to play a bunch of lands, and then eventually, when, once a lot of lands have been played, bring her back and draw a whole bunch of cards. So kind of a landfall in blue commander. Mm -hmm. And then there's a vehicle on the back, because why not? Why not? Um, the Omen Keel is one in a blue for a 3-3 three, three legendary artifact vehicle. And when I cast, I can cast uh, Kozuma from the command zone as either one. So I can cast the vehicle side or the planeswalker side. And this legendary vehicle says whenever a vehicle I control deals combat damage to a player, that player exiles that many cards from the top of their library. You may play lands from among those cards for as long as they remain exiled. So I might uh, exile your cards and play a bunch of your lands. Perfect. Uh, for the worst possible, I'm not sure. To be honest, it's mono blue doing mono blue things. So I just pulled out the most tilting things in my deck. <laughs> <Fair> so <enough. laughs> Agent of Treachery might steal something from one of you, like maybe a commander. Um, huh. Nexus of Fate, if I actually manage to draw my deck, which isn't insane, it could happen, then I could just take endless turns with Nexus of Fate. And Holebreaker Horror is just generally obnoxious because whenever I play a spell, I can return a permanent or a spell to your hands and just bounce everything. It's like cyclonic rift on a lobster roll. And um, oh, anyway, it's blue. I know it's annoying, but I felt like Yorian didn't get all of Yorian's bread buttered yeah. last week, and I wanted to play another fan favorite Perfect. card of mine. So that's why she's here. Ben, what commander have you brought for us this week? And what is the worst possible thing you're going to do to us? Well, I brought Lies of Forgotten Archangel. It's an angel. Obviously, it's a four or five flying lifelink like angels do. And whenever a non-token creature I control dies, another, not this one, I guess, uh, I return that card to my hand at the beginning of the next end step. But if an opponent's creature would die, I exile it instead, which is pretty cool. Um, and I have the pretty familiar combo to arena players a couple months ago in standard. Um, Book of Exalted Deeds and Faceless Haven. So Faceless Haven is a snow land, and for three snow mana, I can turn it into a changeling creature, so it's an angel. And when I have a Book of Exalted Deeds on the battlefield, with its second ability, I can put a Enlightened counter on it, on target angel, so the <laughs> Faceless Haven. And it gains, you cannot lose the game, and your opponents cannot win the game. So I could I potentially like have less than zero health and still be playing. I feel like some days I have the enlightened counter where I just can't lose, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? I've been there. <laughs> All right, I, I really hope that you get to do this and then I get to steal it with the agent of treachery <laughs> in the fashion of somebody taking my glacial chasm in a, in a recent episode. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Facebook combo, good to see it in Commander. I've never seen it done in Commander, could be fun. Mm -hmm. All right, Blake, what is your commander, and what is the worst possible thing you are going to do to us? Well, I am playing Animar, Soul of the Elements. This is Teamer for a 1-1 that is protection from white and black. Whenever I cast a creature spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on 
Animar and creatures cost one less for each plus one plus one counter on Animar. Mm -hmm. So my deck is a Pinger's Tribal deck as denoted by our good friend Prodigal Sorcerer. And I've got two really good worst possible things. The first one is straight up Will Breaker. Because if I've got Pingers, I can take control of lots of creatures and they're all mine. Because as long as it targets with an ability. Then the other one's a little bit more complicated. So as long as I have two mana worth of artifacts, a Pinger, and Isochron Scepter with Dramatic Reversal, I can ping somebody for one, use this to untap all my non-land permanents, and repeat it forever and kill everybody. Oh, it's gonna be so fun. I love five card combos. It's gonna be <laughs> great. Infinite damage, but you have a lot of pingers in the deck, I do, right? like 22. And you probably have a good amount of mana rocks, knowing you. I, I do. So really, it's a two card combo, it is, kind yes. of. Realistically, it is. Yep. And a reversal. Okay. And Everflowing Chalice could replace if it's for two. Yeah. Also, your deck has protection from Ben, so that's kind of cool. I like Pro Ben. <laughs> it's yeah. got black and I white. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you can't touch that. All right, Shay, the champ is, is back. After, I think we all still have poison counters yeah, accumulated uh, from last week. Sorry about that. I was oh, bedridden yeah. all week, Shay. <laughs> so, champ, uh, what are you bringing this week, and who's your commander? What's the worst possible thing you're going to do to us? Yeah, so this week I am venturing beyond my typical uh, comfort zone with a Grixis Spellslinger deck with Kess Dissonant Mage as the commander. Um, so she costs four, she is a human wizard, she's got flying. During each of your turns, you may cast an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. If a card cast this way would be put into your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. Um, so yeah, it's going to be looking to sling lots of spells um, from the graveyard in some fun ways. Um, also, for my uh, worst possible, so kind of first up here, I've got Professor Onyx, she costs six. Um, of course, Legendary Planeswalker, Liliana. Um, I'm not going to read through all of her uh, abilities, but kind of the, the one that's really worst possible here is the Magecraft ability at the top. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Ah, uh, okay. Do you have the Chain of Smog combo that just goes infinite and kills everybody? No. No, I do not. Really just looking to uh, do the, the spell slinging thing here. So you're, you're going to play like 20 spells in a turn. All right. Yeah. Yes, Perfect. this is very, very new Shea territory. Okay. Yes, yes. And so put Professor Onyx in combination with Thousand Year Storm, um, which is an enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy it for each other instant and sorcery spell you've cast before it this turn. You may choose new targets for the copies. So, yes, slinging spells and making it hurt you all a this, lot. This feels like a Blake deck. I know, I'm a little <laughs> jealous, actually. You, you've got another card uh, there uh, that's near and dear to my heart. Yes, yes. So I had to bring out um, Shark Typhoon because I think... Maybe it's not necessarily the worst possible, but in my heart of worst possible, it's kind of the best possible, if, if, that's, if that makes sense. Um, you know, as a Golgari typical player, when I thought about blue cards, Shark Typhoon was sort of the one that I always wanted to play. Um, so yes, super excited for Shark Typhoon. I really hope I get to play it. It's an enchantment. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create an XX blue shark creature token with flying, or X is that spell's converted mana cost. Oh, they know Shark Typhoon. Oh, they do. Yes. You know Shark Typhoon, don't you? Yes. Yes. The real question is, what tokens do you have? Do you have good tokens with you? Oh, CGB. I have the best tokens. Oh, Ooh, nice. Look Ooh. at those beauties. What Beautiful. numbers are they? What numbers are they? Oh, yes. Is that on the... There, there's numbers on the back. Number 516. 516 and 515. Very mm. nice. Okay. I mean, those aren't for sale anymore. Those are an exclusive collector's item, but you can still get a CGB Shark Token. I have a few more of the paper ones. Uh, you can check out my Patreon if you're interested in that. Link in description. Um, <laughs> but yeah, sweet. We're going to see the sharks in action today, I hope. I hope so, too. I really do. All right, guys. Let's dive in. Let the worst possible commander nonsense begin. Okay, guys, we're shuffled up. We've kept our hands. Roll. Let's see who goes first. No, oh, it's off the table. Two well, it doesn't matter. I got a four. I got a six. Oh man. You ready? Wow. Yeah. All right. Might All have right. to look at the results. Yeah. <laughs> 
Who won? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking away. You got away. a one. So. You've okay. got to be kidding me. Double six. I won? Yeah, oh. you got a one. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, honestly, I'm done for the week. Draw for turn. <laughs> Play my gemstone cavern. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, I'm not sad. I, I, I just want time. you to note this is a foil gemstone <laughs> cavern, and I paid up thinking oh. money would solve my luck <laughs> issues. I love that really expensive waste you just played. <laughs> you know what's really bad about it? I didn't keep a blue source, <laughs> but then I drew a little bit of soul ring into arcane signal. Ooh. Your turn. Yikes. <laughs> this is a yikers. I'll play a shambling vents tap. It can become a 2-3 elemental creature token, or not token, sorry. Black and white elemental creature with lifelink until end of turn. One of my favorite creature lands, shambling vents. I will play a misty rainforest and crack it for a steam vents, and I will pay the life to have it enter untapped. It's somewhere, don't worry. And then, an old, not so favorite. I will play Spear Spewer. This is an O2 defender that I can tap to have it deal one damage to each player, including myself. Go ahead, Shay. Cool. You better watch out. <laughs> You're also three life behind everyone, so <laughs> this is some real Drop chaos. to the races. Perfect. Watery Grave, entering tapped, and pass. All right, draw. Eventually, you'll have lands in your landfall deck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, Kozuma. All right. 2-4 <laughs> on the battlefield, hoping I make it to my next upkeep so I can exile her. Your turn. <gasps> you missed a land drop? I did. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I kept a one land. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to play a snow-covered planes. Now I'll tap that snow-covered planes for a authority of the console. Oh no! In, in creatures your opponents control enter the battlefield tapped. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, I gain one life. You're gonna have a lot of pinging to do, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, this draw makes this hand a little bit more interesting. Rootbound Craig. And I'm gonna play a curiosity. Hmm. Targeting spear spewer. Wait, what? Does that do what I think that do? I'm gonna draw three cards a turn with that. Four, it hits yourself. So, so all opponents. Three curiosity? Whenever an enchanted creature deals damage to an opponent, you may draw a card. So um, it does one damage to each player, that's three different instances? Correct. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay wow. then. Hmm, that's fun. Yeah, resolves for me. And I'll pass my turn. I mean, I'd just do it now. <laughs> and yeah, I'm trying to get somebody to point a spell at it first. Interesting. <laughs> Exotic Orchard. Tap two for a Racto Signet. And pass. Untap. Land off the top. Exile. God of the Voyage. Might be gone for a while. We're going to see. <laughs> going to have to draw a lot of lands. I don't know why I'm trying yeah. to take her out and flip her. I don't know what's going, going on. It's going on a long right. trip. <laughs> this isn't search for his contour or nothing. All right, this will be the voyage zone, because adventure zone is taken. Mm. And we'll draw. I'm going to cast Explore the Vast Lands, the backside of Wandering Archaic. This says each player, that's all of us, looks at the top five cards of their library, reveals a land card and or an instant or sorcery card Ooh. from among them, put those cards into their hand, the rest on the bottom, in a random order, each player gains three life. <laughs> so you guys are going to like this. So everybody, top five, you don't have to reveal them, but pick a land and then pick an instant or a sorcery. We don't have to you reveal. get those two cards. Uh, you reveal the cards that you... Oh, okay. You reveal the cards you select. So I found the lands. Mm. So... <laughs> <laughs> Look at all those. <laughs> found them. Oh, oh, beautiful. We, we found them, guys. Yeah, like I don't even know which island I'm supposed to pick. Mm. I, I'll go with this one. Hard to go wrong, right? All right. I'll put these mm. other... Islands on the Aww. bottom in a random order. Goodbye, lands. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, there, gain that three life. What did you guys find? I found a breeding pool. No spells. I found a snowbird swamp and the swords of the plowshares. That's Ooh. a good one. Swords of plowshares. You're going to love you that. You could chill. You could not. We could be friends. How about fun. you, Shay? What you got? I found a crumbling necropolis and a pact of negation. Ooh. Okay, this oh. is, <laughs> is fun. Everybody gained three life as well. Yes. 
And the rest go to bottom of library, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, I believe bottom in a random order. Yep. Well, let me randomize. About to call judge so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put this island on the battlefield where it belongs. And that puts a counter on Cosma. Cosima? Cosmos. Cosima. <laughs> God of the Voyage. I don't know why I have such a hard time with that one, but I do. Cosima. I'm done. Cosima. The end of your turn. Ooh. I will use Spear Spirit to deal one damage to all of us. Okay. Um, on the stack. Sure. I'm going to attempt to brazen borrow as petty theft your Spear Spear. You're still going to draw the cards, but we just can't have the free Ancestral Recall. Am I going to draw the cards? Yeah, yeah. You do, right? No. Because th that will no longer be enchanting the Spear Spewer. Oh. No, I won't I, draw the cards. I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Into the Adventure Zone. The one good thing the is this time it's goes. gone now. Goodbye. <laughs> then everyone takes one. Oh, yeah. Mm. I hope you enjoyed dealing that one damage. Hope it was worth it. It wasn't. Should have done it Should have done it immediately. Should have done it before. Your turn, Ben. Oh, yeah. I'll untap my snow-covered plains. Draw a card. Ooh. I'll play a snow-covered plains. I'm going to tap two, three lands and play Search for Glory. Search your library for a snow permanent card, a legendary card, or a saga card. Reveal it and put it in your hand, then shovel your library if you spend... Snow mana, you gain one life for each snow mana spent. I spent two, so I will gain two life. So two weeks ago you did this, you didn't have uh, snow lands to gain that life. <laughs> so now you did. So uh, I see you be over with snow lands either, though. There you go, rate. I have one snow land in this deck. <laughs> uh, it was more of a pun on no lands, but it wasn't my best joke. But I do have a snow land. That's true. Deck. That's that's fair. <laughs> I have one. I don't know why. <laughs> I might steal something that needs a snowman. Hey, I don't know how. You might I don't know how steal his works. book of exalted teeth. I might. I will reveal a <laughs> faceless haven. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, uh -huh. okay. Suspicious. And I will gain two life. Pretty sauce. And now I will have to discard at my end stuff. I'll discard the mortuary mire because that creatures aren't supposed to hit my graveyard anyway. So. Fair enough. <laughs> Your turn, Blake. All right. I miss my uh, spear spear with curiosity on it. Play Rockfall Veil. Vale. I will then play a Thought Vessel. I will then replay Spear Spewer. Welcome back, Spear Spewer. And then with my Thought Vessel, I will play a Gorgon's Head. Equipped creature as Death Touch, which is a great combination with Pingers. Gross. Oh. Um, Spear Spewer uh, with Enders Enders tap, Yep, yeah. and you gain a life. And I do gain a life. Hmm. At which point I will pass my turn. Okie dokie. Okay. For one here, tapping the Racto Signet for one, two, three, four. To cast Kess, Dissident Mage. All right, first commander in the house. Yes, Welcome. she has arrived. Uh, then there's tap, and I will gain one. Yep. Then I will have to discard to hand size. What is going on? So much discarding to hand size. I mean, you've got a thought vessel, so I feel like this is a self-serving <laughs> joke. Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to discard, confront the past, and toxic deluge. And I'll pass the turn. OK. All right, I'm going to attempt to cast Mystic. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> if it's okay with you, yeah, then yeah, uh, he has a response. I'm going to attempt to cast Mystic Confluence to draw three cards. I'm just Yo. using draw a card three times. You didn't let me draw three cards. I need to hit this land drop, bro. <laughs> All right, I'll allow it. Shay, you could pack to negation it. <laughs> that is true. She could. Mm. She could. It's not illegal. She would then she would, the, she would lose the game, yeah. Well, in a couple turns. Great advice. I mean, I'm just saying it's a possibility. <laughs> Resolve. No or, response. Yeah, you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Land. And that will tick Cosmo up to two voyage counters. 
and one mana will play a Wayfarer's Bobble. I can pay two and sacrifice this to search for a basic land and put it onto the battlefield tapped and then shuffle. I'm done. Okay, I'll untap, draw a card, I'll play a Snow Covered Swamp. Uh, what's the toughness of your four? Of your guy four? Yeah. Uh, it's okay, it's fine. You're fine. Blake might not be. <laughs> I'm gonna tap four <laughs> and play Meat Hook Massacre for two, X being two. So each creature gets minus two, minus two until end of turn. Whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. Whenever a creature an opponent control dies, you gain one life. Dude. This poor spear spewer! <laughs> He's gone through so much! I'm on the hook. On the hook. <laughs> Get him on the hook. Oh my gosh. Okay, see you later, spear spewer. I will spewer. gain one life. All set? Yep. That was messed up. <laughs> spear spewer didn't hurt anyone. It's really my only good play to be honest. Whatever helps you sleep at night. It's one of the lowest impact meat hook masters yeah. I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah, Spears Pierce like me? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna you. play a Prismatic Vista. I'm gonna get basic Islan. I'll play a Vithian Stinger, which is just yet another pinger. I will pay two mana to equip Gorgon's head to Vithian Stinger. And I'll pass my turn. It will enter tab. Dang it. I always I forget to and I will gain one life. Go ahead, Trey. Okie dokie. Drowned Catacomb. Then, first things first, I would like to brainstorm. Draw three cards, then put two cards from your hand on top of your library in any order. Okay, we're gonna put those two back. Brainstorm will go to Graveyard. Tapping the Exotic Orchard for the Rakdos Signet. So one, two there for a Nightscape Familiar. Tapped. Tapped. And that makes uh, blue and red spells cost one less and can regenerate for one and a black. Yep. Yep. And then we're also going to tap two for an is it signet. If you attack me, Shay, then I won't feel bad about killing your commander with my finger. <laughs> so. Hmm. It's the best target anyway. I see what you're doing, but. <laughs> so Got a wheel and deal, target, dude. If you're not right? wheeling, you're not dealing. It's the <laughs> only target right now. I am actually going to swing three at Ben because you are gaining yeah, a crap ton of life over there. I good point. That's a very good point. good point. Three? Yep. Pass to CGB. Okay. Untap. On my upkeep, I'm going to bobble because I know that there are four lands that I would love to draw on the bottom of my deck. <laughs> so uh, this is before my draw step. So search for basic land, enters the battlefield tapped. We'll tick up. Cosima. We do the beaver shuffle. <laughs> we should make a dance. We should make a dance called the beaver shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even beaver shuffling right now. I miss the old days. I miss beaver. There it is. Uh, beaver. There it is. That's, what the, that's what the B and C It's the is. full, like, two, like, the, it's about 80 cards just slammed together, <laughs> or at least it appears that way, and then you gotta Pretty finesse them into place. <laughs> it's actually really gentle. The, yeah. the sleeves have a nice long life expectancy, you know? Honest, honestly, it's, it, it's a really good way to shuffle that's <laughs> just misunderstood and disrespected. All right, draw. Not a land. <laughs> no! <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to find a way here. I'm going to target myself with Archmage's Charm. Target player draws two cards. Did he get there? I'll play a Fable Passage hey. and put a counter. Oh, oh that's good. Cosmo, God of the Voyage. And yeah, we could crack this and bring her back at instant speed if that were... A desirable thing, but it's a lot better to be honest when there isn't an authority of the consoles, yes, which yeah. really messes it up. So, yeah. um, it's messed up. I'll say, uh, go. you guys are really salty about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're salty, I'm not salty. Yeah. you're all just looking at me like I think we're <laughs> just annoyed. I think oh, we're yeah. paying a healthy amount of respect to an enchantment that kind of gains insane amounts of life, yes. And yeah. uh, let's see, you're on you have some green, so you might have enchantment removal. I do, but I'm mono blue and she's Grixis, so I don't know what's going to happen to that authority to actually get rid of it. 
See uh, Ben getting to zero life. That's it. Ben getting to zero life. And that's hard to do <laughs> as long that's as we're true. playing creatures. I know. So it's just paying respect to a good card, really. Agreed. I'll tap two and play an arcane segment. Play a Bajuka Bog exiling. I believe Shay's graveyard would be the best option here. <laughs> yeah, because of the cats. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Sad. No, no, Sag. no more brainstorm, please. Yeah. Or, or the toxic deluge. Deluge Ooh, a little. Yeah, although that would be good for mm. me. Actually, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, I'll pass. Hmm. Why does that sound so suspicious? <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> I really did. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I'll play Castle Pantress. Ants cry. Wait till Ben's end step, my man. <laughs> I will then True. kill Cass. No! <laughs> no! She didn't like that. Oh, good. She's not very happy with you. She killed me with a million poison counters last week. <laughs> yeah, you're Tis right. my revenge. But Th I, I didn't attack reminder. you just now, though. For the first time in, but, what, eight videos? <laughs> well, he said he'd feel bad about it if you attacked him. Or not bad. About I would it. feel. I would not feel bad about but it. But now he does feel bad about it because yeah, you can't didn't you tell? attack. Oh, I lied. Yeah. Actually, I don't feel bad. <laughs> Dang, I'm a liar. Yikes. And I will. Yep. Gain a life. Yeah. I know that. Like, Go right. ahead, Shay. Crumbling necropolis. Enters tapped. Playing creatures doesn't seem very good with your death touch ping. Pinger theme deck over there. No. It, it suddenly seems bad. They come into play tapped, he gains life, and then I kill him. <laughs> How much mana do you have available there? I have six mana currently. Hmm. It's a sublime amount. It, <laughs> I've just had an epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Get him, Shay. Get me. Shay and I kind of have to be like allies. She has the shark shirt she and the does, tokens. Yes. <laughs> like yep. it's, it's kind of awesome. And you've got the moon shirt. And as we know, sharks howl at the moon. <laughs> no. Do I not know my shark lore? I, I don't think you do. Awesome. I'm thinking getting no. it mixed up hmm. with another like quadpedal animal. Humans. Maybe something of a lupin variety. Quadpedal. <laughs> what? <laughs> not bipedal. Do you not run around on your hands? Okay. You guys are weird. Go on, Shay. You guys are a bunch of weirdos. It's a wolf. Oh. Yeah. It must be a full moon tonight. <laughs> you guys are being weird. I think I'm actually going to pass the turn. What? Oh, no. That's what we call character development. Let's so go, fun. Shay. There's a blue so stirring match setting up here. All right. I will cast Lightning Greaves. That resolve? Yeah, that's a cool card. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. You like that card? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I mean, this is this is bold. This is bold. But we'll see what happens. I'm going to attempt to cast Disciple of the Ring. This is a mythic human wizard 3-4. For one colorless mana, I can exile an instant or sorcery card from my graveyard and choose one. Counter target non-creature spell, unless its controller pays two. So spell pierce on command. Uh, or plus one, plus one until end of turn. Or tap target creature, or untap target creature. Does Disciple of the Ring resolve? I will pass priority on it. Mm. Hi, Shay. It is a dangerous card, though. Hi, Shay. Mm. There are two spells in my graveyard. Uh, it resolves, I'll pass. Okay. Right. Yep. Then I will attempt to attach Lightning Greaves to Disciple of the Ring. Yeah. Mm. That's fine. All these blue mages at the table. <laughs> this, is, this is trippy. By the way, you gain one life, Ben. Oh, yeah, right. Sorry. Um, we would want to deal with that if we could. I actually oh, don't oh, currently have Wii, a way. The Wii is, is coming yeah, out. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're the Blues brothers. The, the blue, there's blue three of us on blue here. <laughs> hey, don't, don't rule me out. That's true. I will... Tap this, tap the Racto Signet for a Terminate. Oh, such a pretty Terminate. Nice. Targeting Discipline of the Ring. Hmm, destroy hmm. target creature. Can't be regenerated, you <laughs> say. <laughs> Played around as regenerate, nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I will sacrifice Fable Passage in response. So with this on the stack. Okay. Search my library for an island. I'll get the snow-covered island to prove I have it and untap it. <laughs> With Fabled Passage, this will trigger Kosama, God of the Voyage. 
I'm bringing Ooh. Kazuma God of the Voyage out of exile Yikers. to the battlefield with four counters on it. Enters tap. Which does enter tap, and, and you do gain one. a life, but I draw four oh, cards. All right, I have drawn my four cards. I am going to attempt to Fierce Guardianship for free because I now control my commander on the Terminate. Tap for a blue, for a negate. Hey! <laughs> oh, man. Pew, 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 pew. Welcome, Chad. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, fierce Guardianship is negated. Wow. Um, let's see. How much mana do you have open now? Three. I, I think Disciple's going to bite it. That's fine. Another one bites the dust. All right. I, I've lost uh, this battle. That, one creature died. Yep. One creature on an died. On opponent's side, so I gain another one. Yep, Up of course you do. Keep it going. Dude, chill on life. All right, I'm going to activate Lightning Greaves. I'm going to target my commander. Seems good. Makes Does sense. that resolve? Seems good. Yeah. The six. <laughs> okay. Eight? Uh, that is a six eight, yes. Wow. Okay. All right, I'm going to play a Scalding Tide. Nobody has an Urborg or a no. Yavimaya. Okay, then I have to crack this now. Unfortunate. Yep. The Fable Passage was already on the battlefield, so this is my first land drop for turn. Go get an island, and I'm going to cast Thought Vessel, so I have no maximum hand size. But I'm at seven anyway. Okay. <laughs> I, I know the We've value. Been here before. The value is just going to stress you out. <laughs> then I'm done. And I'll do my shuffle while Ben at takes Ben's turn. CGB's end step. Yes. I'm going to tap a white and Swords of Plowshares. <gasps> oh, yeah. We, I guess we saw that Swords a while ago. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. You'll gain one life. Let's go. Welcome to the club. <laughs> the life game. Club. And I will gain one life as well, in fact. I'll untap my lands, draw a card, play a snow covered swamp. Tap. One, two, three, four, five. For my commander, Liza. On the stack. On the stack. What do you think, Blake? That's fine. <laughs> also no response Yeah, I'm me. fine. <laughs> Very easy to say. <laughs> and I'll, I'll pass. That's all I got. Sweet. At the end of your turn, I spooked you guys the whole turn, but all I had was Castle Van for so. <laughs> uh-huh. That's what they always say. One on the top, one on the bottom. We like that one. Then I will untap. I will draw an unknown card. Ooh, that was a good draw. Unknown, huh? Every head shake you guys send my way <laughs> feeds me. <laughs> I've seen what makes you clap. And then I will play, after my Mind Stone, a Seer Sir Kara the Bold. This is a uh, legendary 3-3. When Sir Kara the Bold or an instant or sorcery spell you control deals damage to a player, Exile the top card of your library. You may play that card this turn, and I can tap her to deal one damage to any target. No. I know. Really? Oh, okay. Well, I'll tap her right now. Yep. And I to gain a any life. target. <laughs> I'll target you with one life gain. Oh, thanks. Yep. And then I'll pass the turn. <laughs> okay, so I'll tap two here to tap both of the signets for four. So that's one, two, three, four. Uh, five to cast Kess, Dissident Mage. She's back. Cheaper because of the Nightscape familiar. Ooh, Correct. Yeah. Tap. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, so annoying. Yep. Sorry, I'll try to remember. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's fine. <laughs> and I think I would like to pay black and a red to cast terminate from the graveyard targeting you're gonna regret that just so you know i'm just being honest <laughs> just all right honest. cool okay. yeah <laughs> they're pingers guys leave them alone but the death touch Jeez. yeah we're scared of the, yeah. the death touch right. we need that's to, we need creatures in our lives here <laughs> that makes you feel big and strong that's fine <laughs> <laughs> so the Terminate will go to exile. And I'll pass the turn. Okay. I will not exile Kazuma 
We're gonna keep this six eight around. Shay. Yep. I attack you with Cosmo, God of the Voyage. That is my commander. A six eight shroud. Okay. I will take six damage. How no blocks. Dare you engage me in a counter battle? <laughs> 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 you know mm. your your commander is a really cool card. I gotta say. Thanks. It's it's oh, really no. nice. Oh it's super no! Good. It's oh, really nice. No. <laughs> no! I would like to cast an oh, an oldie but a goodie. This is control magic. Enchant creature. Gain control of enchanted creature. I want to read this for the classic. Please. You control target creature until enchantment is discarded or game ends. If target creature is already tapped, it stays tapped until you can untap it. If destroyed, target creature is put in its owner's graveyard. So I'm trying I'm trying to enchant Kess here. The what do you think? The only reason that's sad to me is because I wanted to kill her commander myself to make her pay. Yeah, are, are we getting into another yeah. counter fight? You want to you wanna have a little fight over this? You want to do it? I know, but I feel like you probably have a counter. Yeah, Only one way to find out. I mean, yeah. they have to get out of Don't everything. listen. To, they want you to engage in this type of behavior. Don't give in. Instead of like the angel and the devil, Ben and I are just two devils on their shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. True. We will Pact of Negation. Force of Negation. Mm. Who is out negating the negation? For the Iron Price. For the Iron Price. Yep. No response for me. At least you don't have to pay five. You don't have to pay it. <sighs> All right, mine? Oh, I've always wanted one of these. I actually don't own one. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have to give it back up if game ends. Mm, I didn't know we were playing. Darn. I thought we were playing by anti rules. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, I actually can't afford, though, any of the sweet graveyard cards. So I am done. Is this what it's like to be blue? Because I hate it. <laughs> Why do you hate People it? People tend to try to do really bad things to you, and other blue players do tend to try to take anything cool you do mm. and use it against you. So yeah. I mean, just think Welcome. about how often you, you, you attack me, you know? <laughs> you, it's, it's your commander's too cool. Mm. I really want to play this card. That's fair. And to, like, the thing you have going for you, they can't afford to let me keep playing this card either, so they're going to yeah. try to get it back to you. Cool. I'm going to hold it. I'm gonna play a snow-covered swamp. I play. should have put Greaves on it. Mm. I'll tap four. Play a nice little, you know, no no big deal, legendary angel. Linvala, Keeper of Silence, flying. Activated abilities of creatures your opponents control can't be activated. Let me just check the rule book. Are pinging <laughs> activated abilities? Okay. Yeah, they sure are. Oh, well checked. Ooh. He got you. <laughs> Your deck just got turned off. <laughs> yup. I feel super targeted for playing a Pinger's Tribal deck. <laughs> Jesus. He's a poor baby. He's such a you know baby. what? It's an honor. You sure? You sure? How many? <laughs> Nobody's it's not sure. the greatest. Okay. Well, in honor of your fallen Pingers, I'm going to tap. I don't know if this card will be good this turn, but I want to do it. For what you said. I'm gonna do honor the fallen. Remove all creature cards and all graveyards and I gain one life for each creature removed this way. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> the heck is I this? have none. Am I in like a fire drink right now? I've one, got three. No two. creatures. Two, I have two. Two, five, so I gain five lives. Okay then. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> and then I will go to combat. I'll swing at CGB for four lifelink flying. Uh, yeah, I'll take the damage. Um, All right, four to, I will gain four. I mean, I guess this game is going oh. to end somehow. Mass so, 62. who are you? The skull, I guess. Yeah, we, we better track commander damage because oh, yeah. God knows how this game's going to end. Should I track yeah. mine from <laughs> Shay? Because I have three from her. What? You do? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Uh, that will be my turn. Have fun with your pingers, Blake. Dude, so savage. <laughs> I love it. I'm confident in my life right now. <laughs> <laughs> Want a game and just swagger. <laughs> just pure Ben swagger. Pure Ben swagger. We're going to play Verdant Catacombs, which I will sack. I am going to overload Amizium Mortars. 
So this does four damage to each creature I don't control. All my pingers have been murdered <laughs> by my friends. Okay. The weird thing about that is he'll get Linvala back. To my hand, yeah. I will lose the Kess, but otherwise, then, get I guess the Nightscape you. will die? Yeah. It will get exiled after it dies. Okay. I mean, I guess that doesn't matter too much because really. this good, still goes to her yeah. command. I mean, I guess that resolves. I didn't get to have my fun with Kess, but okay. That's too bad. Thanks, Blake. Yeah, no problem, Shane. Oh. This will get exiled. Happy to help. It will technically go to the graveyard until the end of that No appreciation. That turn. And then returns to your hand, yeah. Yeah. We all sense, lose think. one life to I'll the Meat Hook Massacre. Yep. Okay. We then, do, you do not gain life because uh, things are being exiled now because of your commander. Oh, right. Well, it says when it when, would die, exile it instead. Right. Yeah, so oh, it doesn't so actually exile. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's my turn. And this will return to That goes hand. to your command zone. Yeah. Which I think you've done twice. Yep. Yes. So it yeah, costs okay. uh, eight. I mean, <laughs> you do what you got to do for an awesome commander like Cass, I guess. Yeah, I feel like to get any movement at all, I sort of need to replay Kess. Replay Kess <laughs> for eight, <laughs> and mm. hope she doesn't die again. That's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. That's rough, buddy. You need some card draw. Yeah. We all do. Well, yeah. three of us yeah. do. I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Yeah. Okay, no. tap in two for the signets for four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Welcome back, Kess. For now. I hope you stay. I will right, enter tap and I will gain a life. And I will pass the turn. All right, one, two, three, four, five, oh. six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two more. Yep. <laughs> How'd you know? <laughs> on, on your end step, I'm going to cast Dig through time. What? Mm. <laughs> For five. But yeah, dig through times on the stack. Uh, look at the top seven cards of your library. Put two of them into your hand, the rest on the bottom in any order. Got my two cards. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. They're nice. You like them. One of them's a land, though. Because land is important. Mm. Strip mine. We should, uh, face with oh. mm. we should all make sure we draw land. Mm. I'm going to not, I'm going to choose not to exile Cosmo. I draw my card. <laughs> oh no. Not like this. This is a yikers. Not like this. I don't know what it is, but it sounds like a yikers. Yeah, it does sound like a yikers. <laughs> I'm gonna try to cast Gilded Drake. <laughs> Two mana, three, three, flying. When it comes into play, exchange control of Gilded Drake for target creature one of your opponents oh, controls. Or sacrifice it. Oh. Um, does that resolve? Yeah, please. Enters tapped. You uh, gain yeah. one life there, Ben. I'm going to try to exchange it for Kess, the dissident oh, mage. No! <laughs> you get a Gilded Drake, though. Yeah. A tapped Gilded Drake. It's, what I, it's, what it's I a very expensive card. It's it is. what I always wanted. Thank you so much. And now it's yours forever. Ooh, now I can play a card from my graveyard. Um, yeah. This is cool. <laughs> he uh, has a dig through time in his graveyard. I'm going to. You guys that? Yep. Use five mana. I'm going to cast Mystic Confluence, and I'm going to return the Gilded Drake to my hand <laughs> and draw two cards. <laughs> Does that resolve? Yeah. Yep. Okay. One, two. Oh, baby. Uh, you have a thought vessel? I'm going to play Wasteland as my land for a turn. <laughs> I'm going to oh, cast. Yeah. Gilded Drake, gain one life, by the way, oh, yeah, Ben. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I'm going to exchange it for your commander. No, I don't like that. <laughs> I have no response. All right, here, have a Gilded Drake. Oh, fine. And now I've got that oh. and this. And I'm saying where he's at so that he does not get <laughs> stolen. He can't have the Quadfecta. Uh. And I'm going to attack Ben for six commander. OK. Do we really want to crowd up these screens? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think we have to track it a little bit. Yeah. Because commander damage might be what this game comes down to. Wildly yeah, enough. Might be, yeah. And yeah, Probably. that was fun. So I've got a. I'm going to move the Greaves, but I have to decide what I'm 
going to protect. And I'm going to target Kess with Lightning Greaves. And mm -hmm. it's your turn, Ben. <sighs> okay. I'm going to play a Faceless Haven for turn. Hmm. Okay. I'll tap three and play the Book of Exalted Deep. So at the beginning of my end sub, if I gain three or more life, I create a 3-3 three, three white angel creature token with flying. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned the other ability at the game's start. Do you think the 4-4 four, four angels bully the little 3-3 three, three angel? Like, give us a I don't know. That, they're, they're, no, they're angels. That 3-3 three, three angel looks pretty, like, they're out to get <laughs> okay, some they're devils. Right <laughs> like, they're, they're, they're on a mission. I'm just checking. Okay. the lore. Um, I guess I'll attack... CGB for three in the air with his own Gilded Drake. Hit. <laughs> you, you got me. Darn. Bonk. <laughs> I will pass. How important is it to get rid of this Book of Exalted Deeds, do you think? Eh. Probably not <laughs> particularly. Be, it's I, more the 3-3 three, three okay. angels thing that I'm worried about more than... Yeah. Really? Okay. I mean, because we have the way to deal with the other thing. At the beginning of your end step, it doesn't trigger off things like yeah. the councils or the massacre. Yeah. Just, Just... I was just curious. curious Especially if thought. he doesn't control his uh, command. Yeah, it's not okay. very good. Yeah. All right, we're going to see if there's any chance in the world that this uh, resolves to my next turn. Okay. Pay three for the OG Prodigal Pyromancer. Enters tapped. You gain a stupid uh, life. Uh -huh. <laughs> I do gain a stupid life. And if we're cool beans with that, I'm oh, going to yeah. pass my turn. Cool beans. I love cool beans. Mm. Favorite type? I prefer of Pinto. Bean. Really? Yeah. For me, it's cool black pinto. Wow. Yeah. Rough. She has a lot of trouble keeping her computer oh my right gosh, there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't feel too never bad. Never forget. Crater hoof. Oh, <laughs> I have a oh no. Never forget. No, I'm never telling forget. my children and my children's children. Give her, give her an inch and you'll take a hundred poison. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Truly. Mm. Yeah. I think I'm going to float a blue. Um, for a Jesk as well, and I'll um, only be able to choose one because I do not control a commander as I cast the spell. Heartbreaking. <laughs> mm. Truly. Uh, so I think I would like to exile the top three cards of my library and I may play them this turn. Okay. All good? Um, yeah. That's fine. Okay. One, two, three. Demonic Tutor, Primal Amulet, and I don't know what that is. Auric Lore Mage? Yeah, I can tap it to search my library for a card, put it into the graveyard, and then shuffle. If it's an instant or sorcery, put a 1 1 counter on the creature. Be good if you had Kess. Yeah, that's a good yeah. card with Kess. <laughs> yeah. Can you pick this one and cast it so I can somehow steal it? <laughs> <laughs> Give me that Gilder Drake mm, back. No. <laughs> you have a great deck. I'm enjoying playing it. <laughs> It hurts. It's so painful. Okay, let's see. Um, I guess I'll use one here. Two, three, yep, four total for the primal amulet. And then that floating is gone. Then I will also tap the Crumbling Necropolis for a Swamp to play the Demonic Tutor for one less from the Amulet. Okay, I have selected a card. Goes to hand, shuffled my library, Demonic Tutor in the graveyard, pass the turn. Okay. Untap. Draw. I'm still keeping this around. Just doing a good job of playing pressure yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, actually throwing a bit of beat downs. I'm worried I'm on the chopping block next. Uh, you'd have to be threatening for that to happen. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Um, Do you just want my hat? <laughs> I'm going to use Kess to cast Archmage's Charm to gain control of target permanent with mana value one uh, or less, and I'm going to choose your death touchy hat oh. thing. Death touchy hat. The head, actually. <laughs> you get a whole head, not just the hat. <laughs> yeah, it looks appealing. I want I want to wear it as a as a cap. 
for my <laughs> many commanders. <laughs> your collection of commanders. Collection of commanders. If you would play your commander, maybe I'd find a way <laughs> to take your it. commander. Realistically, <laughs> for the folks at home, you should be playing Riku of two twin reflections, but I don't have one, so. All right, I'm going to play Teleri West tapped. So just a tapped island in this case. You All right, I've got to kind of pick where the commander damage goes. So you have three on you from Shay earlier. Yeah. So I'm going to send another three commander to Ben in the air. I'm going to send four commander at Blake in the air with lifelink and six commander on the ground at Shay. I'm going to try to kill you all with all kinds of commander Oops, damage. Wrong. And I'm the skull, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> Tracking commander damage. It's fun. It's easy. You go, you go up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know I wanted to touch the symbol, too, but... It just... I want to always touch islands. All right. I gain four life. Tap this thought vessel and the signet for blue and cast Ghostly Pilferer. Whenever it becomes untapped, I may pay two to draw a card. If you do draw a card, by the way, enters the battlefield yeah, tapped. Yeah, I, I actually <laughs> remember that. And uh, whenever your opponent casts a spell from anywhere other than their hand, I draw a card. Usually in Commander, that's a command zone. You have all the commands. You're my last, not all. You're my last Animar, hope. you're never leaving. <laughs> you're my last You're in hope. jail. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm done. Okay, I will untap. Gilded Drake, play a, or draw a card. I'll play yet another snow-covered swamp. Swamp. I'm gonna play Angel of Destiny. It is a flying first strike, two six. Double strike. Double, did I say first strike? No. Oh. Double, Double strike. strike. Sorry, Double first strike. better. Yeah. Okay. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you and that player each gain that much life. At the beginning of your end step, if you have at least 15 life, more than your starting totals, each player Angel of Destiny attack this turn loses the game. What? Yeah. Nice. Too bad. Okay. That, pace. that Angel of Destiny attack. That's a little complicated. Mm. It's a little complicated. Yikers. That's a real yikers. It's an yikers interesting a card. Yikers. You mean, have a way to deal with that potentially. Is, I mean, is the resolve? Yeah. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, resolves for me. I'll tap four more and play the angel I played earlier, Vin Lin Vala, Keeper of Silence. Activate abilities of creatures. Activate abilities of creatures, like, you know, pingers, can't be activated. I, I can't believe how hateful this is. It's actually it's, wild. It's, it's kind I'm of insane. Pingers. You know, that, that time you pick a deck and it sounds fun and thematic, yeah. and then you just find out it doesn't work at the table at all. <laughs> at it all. It does work. It's just getting focused. Yeah. Leave me alone. Sorry. Such nerds. Yeah. You're right. If we all just didn't play magic, you would That be would fine. be great. I'd yeah. be in a good position. <laughs> you get it. Um, I will go to combat and swing my Gilded Drake again at CG. I accept. And I am empty at it, and I will pass the turn. End of your turn, I will castle Dactress. Nice. Good play, good play. Thanks, dog. <laughs> Get those out of here. Lands? No, spells. I need more lands, actually. I just have... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Animar, I would consider playing you here, but... Can't give in to... Don't give in to hate. He's, he's either in your prison or CGB's prison. <laughs> <laughs> I will sacrifice Mind Stone, unfortunately, and draw a card. Fortunately. Hmm. And then I'll pass my turn. Oh, this is untapped but useless. <laughs> untapped but cannot <laughs> tap. I mean, you can attack with it. For one. Shay's yeah. open. Go ahead, Shay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Just did a okay. little circle. You did Some a little. Result. 360 yeah, a little fake out. I would like to pay one red for a Blasphemous Act. Oh, pretty. Oh, Costing pretty one, too. one less for each creature on the battlefield. Interesting. Interesting. So, my creatures, other than Ket, like Lysa would go back to his command zone, Kes would go back to yours, but these would go back to my hand because of the cat, because of I control Lysa. Oh god, am I going to exile? Oh. And your stuff would be exiled. <laughs> yup. Full 
true villain mode has been activated. Mana drain oh. on Blasphemous Act. <laughs> Oh, Blake, what you doing there? What you doing over there? I just like sorting my lands, <laughs> and sometimes I like to tap my lands. I'll dissipate your stupid mana drain. Dissipate targeting mana drain? Yup. Okay. This okay. kills my prodigal. I will play. No! When you're in, you're in. Pact of negation. No! Target dissipate. <laughs> so that's top of the stack. <laughs> Is that a hiss I hear? <laughs> Ultimate <clears throat> evil, man. Gloves are off this time. Apparently. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. Uh, that's, commander, that's, man. that's fine. Priority. Okay. Okay. Dissipate countered. Blasphemous act countered for nine. You do get a primal amulet, thingy majiggy. Oh, clever. Using a six as a nine. Nice. <laughs> I'm glad you are impressed. Everybody else, is, under it. everyone else is too upset with me to speak. I appreciate you <laughs> just breaking the silence here. It means a lot to me. I was starting to think uh, I was going to be doing this show by myself. You're about to be. <laughs> Shane are going on strike. Man. Okay. Tap two for both the signets for four mana for adjacent sanctum. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less. That's a cool card. So cool <laughs> when I have fine. <laughs> so many things I can do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, I uh, did it this time. <laughs> Ugh. I will pass the turn. Okay, I will untap. I will untap the Pilfer, so I'm going to pay two to draw a card. Then I will pay for Pact of Negation, which is I'm sure you wish I forgot. I thought you did for a second. <laughs> you drew a card, but you said... Oh, so, so let's you see, know. one, two, three, four, five. This is the two for drawing a card. Okay, so pay for Pact. All right, draw a step. Then uh, nine colorless mana to the mana pool. Guys, this isn't looking great. No. I'm going to use two and go down to seven mana in the mana pool to cast Venser, uh, this Shaper Savant. This is flash when it enters the battlefield, return target spell or permanent to owner's hand. It enters tap, you gain one life. I'm gonna target the Gilded Drake. Okay. <laughs> All right. There you go. I'm going to use one of the colorless in the mana pool in the blue to cast Gilded Drake. Enters tapped, you gain one life. Cool. I'm going to target Angel of Destiny. Okay. Here you go. Okay. Enters tapped. No, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't, It right. didn't yeah, leave the right. battlefield. Yep. So True. I'm going to equip it with Lightning Greaves. Oh, yeah. God. Luckily, it doesn't have 55 life. Uh, as long as I get to it by the end step, yes. it will trigger. How and whoever, are you getting to 55? Every creature I deal damage with, I gain that much life. Yeah. Are you gonna kill me with my own angel? Please. <laughs> no, because I actually want this around for a few turns to kill the rest of you, so I want you oh. to die last. Oh okay. yeah, um, I'm glad I've been attacking you at least. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to use two of the colorless mana to cast a Spellskite. This lets me change the target of a spell or ability to Spellskite. Okay. For but I can't yeah, use can't it. Even use yeah, it, I can't so use it until right. Lumbala is gone. Right. So does it's that resolve? Online. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right. I'm going to play Polluted Delta. I'm going to tap this for a blue. And one, two, three, four. Oh, Spell Sky is a creature, right? Yep. And there's tapped. tapped. I gain the one. Yep. Five, six, seven. Exile these. Leave Fierce Guardianship in the graveyard. I'm going to cast Treasure Cruise. Draw three. This isn't going well. I'm, uh, I'm a little scared. I would agree. <laughs> It'd be a shame if my pingers could have dealt with any of his creatures. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> kind of. I mean, mostly. Sorry. You're not sorry. <laughs> it's okay. All right. Well, this is 
trying to set up how I can do this over two turns, assuming things go. Um, the Angel of Destiny is going to, because I control these commanders and you didn't give me a commander to control, the Angel of Destiny is going to attack Blake. And mm. the Cosma is going to attack Ben. And so, or no, is going to attack Shay. This might be something I need to do before oh, okay. combat. Okay. Move to combat. Okay. I'll start by paying a red for a seething song. Okay. To add five to my mana pool. Okay. Uh, also triggers Primal Amulet and Jace's Sanctum. Yes. So then using three of this, go down to two, I'll tap this, no, I'll tap this for a blue. So four total. I'd like to use the channel ability on Otawara, Soaring City, and um, return target creature to its owner's hand. Ooh. Okay. Nice. 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 That was a good play. Mm -hmm. Resolves. Mm. <laughs> mm. We know you love Fierce mm. Guardianship in the Great Bear for a reason. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, that might change who you're attacking. That's the sad part. I think it does. Why is that <laughs> the sad part? It's sad for Shay. That's fair. <laughs> it's sad for Shay. Um, yeah, in that case. I, I have to get to 55. One, two, three, four, plus six is 10, plus four is 14. And this isn't lifelink, it's a separate ability. So this is 18. Yep. 19, 20. It's not enough. 54. You gain one life, my friend. Mm. One life? Where does a gain land when you need one? <laughs> not in the deck. <laughs> Well, if I can't kill people uh, this turn with the angel, then I will still use the ability, because why not? All right, so Shay, I'm attacking you with Cosma God of the Voyage and Ghostly Pilfer. Liza, Forgotten Archangel, is attacking Blake, because you already have commander mm -hmm. damage from that. And Angel of Destiny is attacking Ben would gain even more life. <laughs> that's that's kind of silly, but um, maybe it is, maybe it just stays home. Nah, I need that life. All right, yeah, we attack Ben with Angel of Destiny. All right, no blocks. Ben, no would you blocks. like to block? No, no blocks here. No All right, blocks. Uh, first strike damage first. Yep. So one two for so wait, you so gain two. Like right. all of this damage is dealt in life. Oh, but it's commander damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, in this case, like, you gain two, Ben, and I gain two. Right. And then uh, regular damage, four. another two, and I gain another two for Ben. For you, it's I gain eight, you gain four, and you take four commander. Yep. So I actually go up by four then? Yes. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And for Shay, you take six commander, then you are going to, so I would take that first, six commander. Then you gain eight life, and I gain eight life. How weird. <laughs> one life point One short. life away. Oh. Did I have to use a fetch land? Right. What's the matter with me? <laughs> Heartbreaking. Um, all right. At that point, I'm done. Um, let's see. None of my stuff went to the graveyard that turn. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. I will untap. Move my arcane up there and tap my gilded drake, apparently. <laughs> six, 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 six. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> I will draw a card. Oh. Oh, that was a great top nine. How many creatures you got? CGD. None. None? No. Oh, you definitely have some. <laughs> oh, you're right. I have, I have six. Six? Yeah, I have six of them. This doesn't matter too much. Tap two, three, Degree four. Degree of pain. Five. They always have degree of pain. I'm gonna, oh, wait, no. Actually, 
We'll, we're start, we'll start, we're starting band. <laughs> we have to. Sorry. I'll go to combat. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel like he believes they this will is, die. Yeah, this is a... Uh... I'm gonna swing at CGB for six in the air. Okay. I take it. Okay. Do you think angels make cacosses? Totally, yeah. Okay. They're 48. close enough to birds, right? Fair enough. Right. Okay. I'll tap one, two, three, four, five, for by invitation only. And I will choose 13, because why not? That's a cool number. Okay, so. So each player sacks that many creatures. 13 creatures, huh? Yep. Oh, well, it's your priority, Blake. Just need a moment. That's oh, fine. Wait, yours get returned to your hand. <laughs> no At least we get our commanders back. Okay. Right? <laughs> appreciate um, it. I haven't even had yeah, I appreciate it. Let's see. I really appreciate it. Oh, you just killed I, the Yeah, it's gonna. It's gonna be a thing that happens. Um, yeah. Okay. So this goes to your graveyard and is returning to your yeah. hand at end step. Put it like down there. This goes to your command zone. Make sure there's a command text on it. Yeah. Gilded Drake is exiled. And, and so Limvala, Limvala is exiled, and Tim was exiled, and Goodbye. Venser, Ghostly, Pilfer, and uh, Kazuma I go to the graveyard, but are returning to my hand on your end step. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, and Spellskite. And Spellskite. Um, also, no, these died. Yeah, so, we'll one, two, three, four, five, six, meat. seven. That was exiled. True. So right. six meat hook triggers. All right, I will gain six life. Gain six life on top of your six, 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 yeah. six. <laughs> yeah. Ben's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> we found it out. Oh, so this isn't in my hand right now, so I'll, I guess I'll go to my info. All right. And then I'll get this in my hand. Okay. I will exile six cards and pay two mana. For, uh, you guessed it, Dig Through Time. Shiny edition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah results for me. Yep. That was on the bottom. And then I will play what is known to be one of my favorite cards of Magic, JVP the MVP. And then I'll pass my turn. Okay, so, tapping. Does she keep the commander tax? Nope, not from hand. Oh, okay. Costs you only four. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay, so we're paying four for Kess. She's back. Dissonant Mage. She's back. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Um, pay a black to grab Demonic Tutor from the graveyard. This goes to four. Is that when it triggers? Yeah. Yep. All right. With the trigger for it to transform on a stack of crows and grip your primal amulet. Okay. Not a bad idea. Seems a little too strong with a Jace's Sanctum out as well, which okay. is about to DT. Any uh, other responses to the Demonic Tutor? You get a scry, but you're going to shuffle anyway if the tutor resolves. So, I mean, I'm not countering the tutor. Yeah. No. Nope. So, do your thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so Demonic Tutor goes to exile. I will end my turn. Okay, untap, draw. Island for a turn. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. We're gonna go for Ugin the Spirit Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the minus X exiles each uh, permanent with converted mana cost X or less. That's one or more colors. The plus two is three damage to any target. The minus 10 is amazing, but it's never gonna happen. Does Ugin resolve? No response here. No yes. responses for me. Okay, I'm going to minus Ugin for four. So everything that's four mana or less with one or more colors gets exiled. Poor Kess. Costing 12 mana now. Guys, but, but, no but, more authority yeah. of the council. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't even 
can use. No more authority. I will no longer respect your authority. All right, authority. Three mana. Cosmo God of the Voyage. Equip Lightning Greaves to Cosmo God into the Voyage. Attack Shay for two more commander. You're at 20 oh. commander. Oh, you have been oh. one away from killing Shay twice now. Oh, she's, no. I don't know if you know no, this. She's mean. hard to kill. She is yeah. hard to kill. Especially when Ben kills all the creatures. <laughs> Going to play Ghostly Pilfer because some commanders might hit the battlefield this turn cycle, and I'm done. Okay. I will untap stuff. No? So I tap four. Five to uh -huh. play, you guessed it. Angel, Angel of Destiny. Destiny. <laughs> well, you have enough life that if you can get yeah, that, that's haste, a you yikers. can kill somebody. Did you get it? What? Does he have the greaves? Boots? Boots? Can no, no, I'm just organizing, you... don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pass though. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's so terrible. I don't have greaves, I just have swift the boots in this time. <laughs> okay, cool to know. Yeah. I'm gonna that's pay five mana. Know. I'm going to Thaz's Intervention for X equals three for the look at the top X cards. Okay. Oh, yeah. So you're going to look at three cards. And put two into my hand. Yep. I'll put this on the bottom in a random order. What are the chances, everybody, that Zurin Spellcaster, yet another pinger, survives <laughs> to the end, to my <laughs> turn? If I untap with this, that is an internal victory. And I'll pass the turn. <laughs> Salty. You got this, dude. Come on. You got this, dude. Okay. I'll give him a pep talk. Ugin's lining up no. a shot. No! <laughs> He's like... <laughs> no, please. Okay. Not enough for Kess. <laughs> Ten oh mana for Kess. Kess has been tossed it's around. It's really hard to do stuff without her. I'm gonna pay six. For a shark typhoon! Nice. Burr, 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 burr. nice. Nice. Very nice. Yep. <laughs> Will you play a spell? I want to see the tokens. <laughs> oh, sure. Yes. I was. You seemed like you were contemplating a something over there, so I was okay. Hold it resolves ahead. for me. Yeah, there you go. I would, I would encounter a shark typhoon. <laughs> Excellent. Um, in that case, I will pay two to Frantic Search. Okay. So, triggers, triggers, make a shark, scry one. Yes. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, and then, yep, I'll scry. Now I have this conundrum of... Yeah. Goodbye. I have to decide if I could ever attack my own token and a shark type. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, so now I'll draw my two cards. And discard two cards. <laughs> We're gonna discard <laughs> a Torment of Hailfire and Ooh. a Counterspell. Ooh, okay. Since it feels bad, man. And untap three lands. And, oh, I forgot about that part. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good part of the spell. Does that change the discard? I don't know. I don't have a ton of good options here. So, um, no, I won't change the, the discard. So we will untap three lands probably those three we'll pay one to consider okay okay <laughs> i make another <laughs> make a one one shark nice. look at nice. me slinging spells yeah. making sharks yeah. yep yep and scrying one yes and scrying one mm, do i want to draw it yeah we'll draw it okay 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 so we'll do that these are gone. For the sake of another shark, we're gonna pay two oh for a dramatic reversal. Okay. Untapping my signets and creating um, another shark token. <laughs> All right, I've got another one coming. Cool, yeah. Uh, you get a scry. Yes, I'll scry here. Cool. There's one thing you can count on, CGB bringing shark All tokens. All the tokens. <laughs> Specifically shark tokens, I can't let people go without here. I've got the prototype, the the X of mm, Y shark okay. token. We Super got shark cool. girl and lava boy over here. Uh, <laughs> wow. Good one. <laughs> it wasn't a good one, but that's the whole point. That's a two. Oh yeah, that's yeah. a two for I live for it. Okay. 
There she goes. Look at me and all my sharks. My turn? Yep. All right. Upkeep, I will not exile. Draw. Shay? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to Ugin for zero. Exile <laughs> all zero cost cards that are a color, like a blue shark. Potentially yeah. a blue shark would be included. Okay. You feel good about killing your own tokens? No! <laughs> <laughs> but I've learned that bad things happen when she's alive. <laughs> so. I'm a little upset, but I think my happiness of playing Shark Typhoon and creating sharks outweighs my What's sadness. the over-under on you demonic tutoring for that Shark Typhoon? Like 100%? No, what? actually, no. Nope. You just that, that's I just drew it. Nice. I just drew it. Fair enough, though. Yep. I respect that. Yep. that. That's that's amazing. That's pretty cool. Yep. All right, Shay, I'm attacking you with Cosmic God of the Voyage. I'm attacking you with a Ghostly Pilfer just because I want it tapped <laughs> and I would need to untap it later. Hmm. So that's a 22 Commander. Okie dokie. Oh. A lot of people look at Kozuma and go, oh yeah, that's going to kill someone with commander damage for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect it to be as a 2-4. As a um, so there you go. I'm going to move the Lightning Greaves over to the Ghostly Pilfer after combat. And I'm going to play an island. I'm going to cast Spellskite. So now uh, for a Phyrexian blue, I can change the target of a spell or ability to Spellskite. My poor pingers. <laughs> Your pingers I don't, just don't it's exist. Such, it's such a <laughs> random hate. Too. I know. It doesn't make any it's sense. It's such a heartbreak. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play Baral, Chief of Compliance. Oh. So uh, instant uh, sorcerer spells cost one less to cast. Spell or ability counters a spell. I can draw a card. Then I'm going to cast Fibble Fit the Lost and draw a card. <laughs> nice. And I will pass the turn to Ben, who has 73 life and an Angel of Destiny. Mm -hmm. Sure do. Ben, this is your destiny. Yes. Yeah. I'll uh, untap and draw. It is your <laughs> destiny. Play a... <laughs> nice. Isolated chapel. It is unavoidable. And there's untap. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll go to combat. Uh-huh. I'll swing the oh. Angel of Destiny Think about this. CGB. Okay. Right at his All right, face. at me. Adam, get him right in the face. Right in that smug and face. Smug right face. in that smug <laughs> face. <laughs> All right. I will cast Factor Fiction. Reveal <laughs> the top five cards in my library. An opponent separates those into two piles. Put one pile into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Mm. I'm going to target. Blake. I figure this might be, this might come up. You guys love targeting each other with that. <laughs> Narset, Island, Island, Rapid Hybridization, oh, no! and Reckoner Bankbuster. <laughs> come on, Blake. You know what to do. Five pile. <laughs> oh, come on. No, no. <laughs> come on, five pile. You said it. <laughs> you said How many it. cards do you have in your hand, CGB? I have four cards in my hand. <laughs> Come on, don't do it. Do it. Don't do Come it. Come on. Yeah. Those are my piles. Okay. <laughs> um, You're welcome, Ben. I yeah, did what I could. Thanks. <laughs> I'll take the four. What? And this can go to the graveyard. That's what, that was my fear, was that Tricks I got you baited. Oh, I, I got you I had got the him. answer the whole the time. Whole oh, my goodness. Vencer. You knew about oh, it too. Oh, we knew it! Enters the battlefield, oh, return I'm... target permanent to its owner's hand. No. I'm going to target your Angel of Destiny. Mm. But I get to untap was... You played yourself. I know. I okay. should. Yeah. That was a misplay. Well, in my second main then, I may as well play my commander. For seven. There we go. It's not cool to play a commander until it costs 12, though. All right. Oh, oh yeah? That's, that's my opinion. Trigger ghostly pill for a draw card. My turn? I'm done. Yeah. I did it! Zurin Spellcaster. <laughs> You're Welcome. Fingers are bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I have won this emotionally. <laughs> wow, he is uh, way up there. Mm -hmm. yeah. You watch a lot of anime, don't you? <laughs> 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 All right, we'll tap five for a gratuitous violence. The bingers are doing two now. Oh man. <laughs> Wait, what's that do? If a creature you control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage instead. Pog. Okay. It's Poggy. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That sounds really nice. fun to me. All right, that's all I got. No pings? You're done? 
I have not learned my lesson about instant speed pinging. So it's my turn now? Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. Untap. I will upkeep. Nah, yeah, I'll pay the two on the Ghostly Pilfer to draw a card on the untap step, because that's an untap ability. Then I will exile Kozuma Gata Voyage to the Voyage Zone. And then I'll move to draw step. I'll play Castle Vantress hey. for the Voyage Counter on Kazuma. Brothers. All right. I think this starts with a Narset. Part of Veils. Oh, so come now on. You gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. All right. So now you guys, if you draw more than one card a turn, you can't. And no. um, the minus two is look at the top four for a non-creature, non-land card. Yeah, non-creature, non-land. Right. All right, <laughs> let's go for it. Ah, Seagate Restoration, that's a good one. <laughs> that is draw cards equal to the number of cards in hand, plus one, and then you have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game. That seems pretty good. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. And, uh, I mean, why, why not? Let's see, one, two, three, Four, five, six. We'll go for Seagate Restoration on the stack. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in my hand. Okay, I will respond. Okay. I'll deal two damage to your face. It's been <laughs> a long ride, folks. Mm. But we have done it. Uh, no! Yeah, Spell Skite will take the two damage. <laughs> He can use a zero three and then zero good. four. Or yeah, it's a zero four. Nice. <laughs> uh, how do you feel? <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, do I uh, do I draw those nine cards now? Whatever, dude. You sure okay, do. Cool. <laughs> All right, uh, Ugin, kill the pinger. <laughs> As promised. <laughs> well, since two turns. Yeah. Hey! Oh, <laughs> keep it around. <laughs> Not in my house. Heroic intervention. <laughs> oh. On that, really. I mean, if and that's all ask you got. Yourself. If that's all you got. I mean, Does like, anything <laughs> matter? <laughs> Resolves. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I really just wanted the two. So. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's classic. Blue and as I well. really oh, just wanted to. I, so. I do really want to kill it. Yeah. 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 Exactly. I don't want to counter spell anyway. I don't want to, do I want to get their out. counter out. <laughs> all right. Uh, Fading hope targeting Lysa Forgotten Archangel. Return to your hand. Did you get the scry one? No, I, I, I don't oh. because it costs five. Oh, gotcha. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Just happy to keep the ping around. You just keep putting cards in my hand. I love I it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I do what I gotta do. So you get to play them again. Yeah, All I right. Know. I am attacking Ben for one, two, three, four, five. Wait, can you power up the shambling vent? You can. I can. Hold yes. up. <laughs> I can up. indeed. Well, yeah, sorry okay. it was covered. I could discard a card to yeah, make this <laughs> unblockable. Hmm. I can I guess do there's that. some things I could do. And I can even use. Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. Well, I guess uh, I have to then attack Blake. Oh, wow. Spencer, Shaper Savant, Fibble Fib the Lost, Viral Chief of Compliance, and Kazuma, God of the Voyages in the Void Zone. Never mind. He's and uh, Ghostly Pilfer will still attack Ben. So, how much total? Two. Total? Damn it. Two to you. Oh, okay. And I'm taking four? Four to Blake. Wow, those are some power creatures. <laughs> I look, man. I, it's a lot of work, okay? Blue, blue, they don't just give you a Tarmogoyf, okay? They do not. <laughs> they make it hard. Yeah, yeah I can I'll discard take, a card so it's unblockable. Whatever, I'll take two. Okay. Then I'm done. Okay. Untap on my If you way. mess with this pinger, Ben. I'm, I'm <laughs> done messing with you. Oh. Oh, oh, like what's the worst card? What's the, the worst, worst card? card? Battlefield. Yeah. Ugin so it starts right Ugin. here and it ends in that corner, and <laughs> yeah. everything in between is pretty bad. <laughs> this is just but it is Ugin. Stuff. It's, it is it's, realistically it's Ugin. It's gotta be the planeswalker. Yeah. Eugene himself. Deep yeah. side eye. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tap three. Oh. <laughs> four, five. Four. You guess it. Liza. Oh. <laughs> yep. Maybe you guessed before. it. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> We've seen this. It's Lyasa. It's Lyasa. Lyasa. What, what is God it? damn. I don't know. I don't know. Ly it's Lyasa. Ly 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 beams. <laughs> gazer beams. Lisa? We got <laughs> gazer beams on board. It's Let's getting go. late, guys. Yeah. All right, um, all right, fine. I'll help you with the Ugin. I'm going to oh, utter yeah. and. Help yourself with the Ugin. Yeah. Yeah. Exile target and I'm land for a minute. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Uh, I'll redirect that to Spellskite. <laughs> I'll pay two life. 
<laughs> my fingers are you online. Have, oh, you man. have you have exiled spell skate. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, at mm. least we know how to deal with that. And I'll pass. <laughs> imagine what wizards. What is happening? What imagine, is in our decks? Is imagine wizards powered by gratuitous violence. <laughs> CGB? Yeah. Ugin? More like. Nope. Right at your face. <laughs> I'm confused. What happened? I'm pinging you for two right in the face, CGB. <laughs> okay. Then I'm gonna get like kill the creatures. How about you play your deck, Ben? <laughs> I'm trying to. You could kill one of these two creatures. <laughs> He's trying to while telling him how to play his deck. Go on. Pass the turn. Interesting. You know, you have a commander. All right. Uh, he's in jail, I told him. He's, in jail. he's not Riku he's of two, uh, whatever, Twin Reflections. He's reflection. on lockdown. Okay. He doesn't exist. Um, I, I will can't let you have all our crack polluted delta. Oops. <laughs> Still Heal one, com one <laughs> commander damage. It's a good card. I'll fetch Mystic Sanctuary. When it enters the battlefield, tapped unless I control three or more islands. When it enters the battlefield, untapped, you may put target instant or sorcery from your graveyard on top of your library. Let me guess, the uh, Fierce Guardianship. <laughs> Uh, no, I was going to go for Seagate Restoration. Oh, okay. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah. And then I'm going to attempt to cast Brazen Borrower, still on the end stone. There it is. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, my turn. That was the end stone. Wow. All right, untap. I'll not pay for Ghostly Pilfer. And upkeep. And, oh wait, this gets a Voyage Counter because of the Polluted Delta. That was part of it. Yes. All right, draw. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Cost reduced by the Baral, Chief of Compliance. I will cast Seagate Restoration. I'm going to draw cards equal to number of cards in my hand plus one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. We're milling them out. So 17 cards. No response. Nope. Okay. Wow. We have to try Wait, to where's mill that breaker for <laughs> one, two, three. Oh, no. I know. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Blue players. <laughs> I've never been so jealous in my entire life. <laughs> You're feeling it right now? Yes, I am, Mr. Right. Price. You have 33 cards in your hand. Yep. Uh, I have a good lot. Yeah. Got a lot. It's like I know to... how to do it. I don't. <laughs> Play Missy Rainforest for another counter. Crack Misty Rainforest. <laughs> put another counter. Search my library for an island, put it on the battlefield. Got any mill spells yeah, over there, my guy? <laughs> in an Orzhov <laughs> I don't think so. The guy well, can dream. Here's yeah. the problem for you guys. Do you oh, remember my worst know. possible cards? Uh, Agent of Treachery. I remember two of them. What were they? Agent of Treachery, Hallbreaker Horror. Uh, and you have forgotten. <laughs> what was oh, it, the third one? What was the third Nexus one? Nexus of Fate. Right. <laughs> yep. That's so it. I'm going to take a turn after this one, shuffle this into the deck. <laughs> I mean, I have to try something, so I will desertion that. What's that? Oh. Do? Counter target spell. If that spell is an artifact or creature spell, put it on the battlefield as though I just played it. <clears throat> I can't imagine he doesn't have a counter spell, but we got to do what we got to do. Are you do. tapped out? No, you're not. No, I got three. Okay. But. No, I'm going to cast Arcane Denial and target that. Okay. All right. And uh, I'm going to do a... So before this gets shuffled back in, I'm supposed to do a draw discard with Brawl for that. Yep. Um, I just... If I draw the Nexus, I'm just going to not... Because it's on the stack right now. Yeah. Okay. Didn't draw the Nexus. So one extra turn after this one. And on his second turn, you get to draw two cards, Blake. Yeah. <laughs> uh, except for Narset, so. Oh, one <laughs> card. <laughs> one card. <laughs> uh, speaking of Narset, let's activate. Look at top four. I'll reveal Cryptic Command. All right, put that on the bottom. Put this to hand. How are you doing, Ben? <laughs> it's not, it's it, you guys are in a bad spot. I'm going to yeah. cast Thanks, CGB. Merchant Scroll. What the hell is that? This is a tutor for an Blue instant or interrupt? That's stupid. Ooh. Next to fade back on top. Uh, in hand, actually. In hand? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking uh, mystical tutor. Okay. Uh, I'm going to plus Ugin, three damage to. 
three, three damage to you. <laughs> three damage to three damage to Blake's face. <laughs> Gladly. You're, you're, you're getting protective over there. What's going on here? I heroic intervention. <laughs> <laughs> cannot die. All right. I'm going to cast Cryptic Command. I'm going to tap all creatures my opponents control. I'm going to return Mystic Sanctuary to my hand. Nice. Okay. okay. I'm going to attack Ben for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Then I'm gonna pass the turn to me. <laughs> you love saying that. Draw two. Uh, one. one. You draw one because of Narset. Yeah, I, I draw one uh, at the beginning of the upkeep. I'm gonna trigger the ghostly pilfer. Draw from that as well. And go to draw step. And I'm gonna draw. And I will play an island. I will return Kozuma. Draw four. <laughs> he could mill himself out. Very unlikely. Look at that. Hey, yeah, that is. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. All right. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, games have to end. Yeah, they sure do. So, uh, let's do it this way. Do you think production is this game, it. Let's Three, end it this four, way. Yeah. Five, six. Let's go with a Shark Typhoon hard cast. <laughs> oh, are you going to be the better Shark Typhoon in this game? One, so two, can't three, happen. four, five, oh, six. Uh, Shay's got to be excited to see some Shark Typhoon. I am excited. All right. And let it be known I was the OG Shark Typhoon of this game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Because you played a Shay hey, token, right? can I use right? those tokens? Yeah, yeah sure. Uh, please make me a 7-7 seven, seven Shark token <laughs> as I cast this Nexus of Fate. Okay. And Second. then I'm going to target it with Narset's reversal, returning it to my hand and copying it. <laughs> So a uh, two-two shark as well, please. So this comes and back to my hand. This goes to graveyard. I have an extra turn after this one, and I will with one colorless left. Probably I need not an do adult. anything. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> um, Production or any of you guys adults, please. I will plus Ugin, and I will deal three damage to Blake's face. <laughs> Thank you. And I will attack Ben for <laughs> one, two, of you. three, four. Five, six, seven, um, seven, eight, nine. Uh, in in the spirit of speeding things up, can I move the grease to come to the yeah. seven, seven shark? Please. Uh, so nine plus uh, seven. Sixteen. Sixteen. Tacky for sixteen, Ben. Bonk. We. Oui. All right. Um, I'm going to pass the turn to me. <laughs> Again. Because that's fun. Doesn't get old. Uh, let's see on. I guess the technically correct play on upkeep is with Ghostly Pilfer trigger on the stack. I'm going to Nexus of Fate for six because of Brawl and make a 7-7 seven, seven shark with Summoning Sickness. Shuffle this back That's in. An I have another turn after yeah. this one. Card's oh, dumb. Yep. All right, uh, draw trigger from Ghostly Pilfer, pay for that. Let's use the colorless mana. You're just the shark maker. <laughs> <laughs> Draw a card. All right. Um, upkeep. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Go to draw. Draw a card. So I've got another turn after this no. one. I'm going to play. Where'd it go? It's Mystic swinging. Sanctuary. I'm going to return. Miss Merchant Scroll to the top of the deck. Yeah, yeah, I know, guys. I know. <laughs> Trust me. I know it's. I know I'm a toxic, horrible, but uh, I gotta pull a this toxic, off. horrible, horrible, toxic gamer. All right. Um, so I already have another turn after this one, so I don't need to cast the scroll this turn. I'm gonna cast the reality chip, and oh. I'm going to equip the reality chip to say. Um, Kozuma God of the Voyage, which lets me play cards from the top of my library. I'm gonna cast Merchant Scroll, make a 2 2 shark, please. Um, this, let me grab, let me get some more. I'm going to play, this looks like fun. I'm gonna play a Phyrexian Metamorph, and I'm gonna copy the Shark Typhoon. Because <laughs> <laughs> why not? And I'm going to plus Ugin, and uh, deal three damage to Blake, and I'm going to attack Ben for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus seven. Uh, oh, let's move the lightning yeah. grease to the 7-7 the seven, seven shark. So, I'm sorry, where was I? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 plus 7, 16, plus 7 
is 23, 24, 25, plus 6, 31. So uh, attack Ben for 31 and four of its commander. Oh, yeah? Down to 15. <laughs> no big deal. All right. I'm going to pass the turn to myself. Time is a, time is a flat mm. circle, guys. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. And I'm going to, with uh, the trigger on the stack from Ghostly Pilfer. Four. Six. Oh, um, six. I'm going to cast Nexus of Fate. Please make another 7-7 seven, seven shark. Shuffle it back in so I have the next like turn. Dead. Yeah, oh, good. <laughs> Gosh, you're so good. <laughs> Pay the two. Draw. Um, yeah, 7-7 seven, seven shark. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Two 7-7s. Seven, uh, then, or just one. We have two shark typhoons. Oh, two shark typhoons. Two 7-7s. Seven, we Sweet. need more dice. Oh, no. We're going to need mom. a bigger dice. I'll draw for turn. <laughs> Here you go, shark lady. All right. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to cast Swift Foot Boots, so that makes a 2-2 two, two shark. I'm going to equip it to one of the 7-7 seven, seven sharks. <laughs> two 2-2s. Two, two, and I'm going to cast Mystical Tutor, make a 1-1 one, one shark. What, two, an one, ocean. One what an ocean of creatures he has. Mystical I'm going to put Nexus of Fate on top of my library. Huh. What, what is that library? Ten cards? <laughs> it's not very many, and it's definitely going to mm. do it. And since I can cast cards from the top of my library with Reality Chip, I'm going to Nexus of Fate, make two more 7-7s, seven, shuffle this back into the library. More dice. Uh, <laughs> you're at 15, Ben? Okay. I sure am. That was all a bit of extra nonsense. I'm sorry. All right, so 15. Uh, I've got right there is 14, and um, Fibble Fibble Loss is 15, so that's Ben. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And for Blake, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Please kill me with it again. 10 plus 4 is, no, 6, 14, 16. Uh, what 16 plus 7 is? 23. 23. All right, Ben, you go to 1. Or Blake, you go to 1. Let's go. Ugin. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Plus <laughs> Ugin. Three damage. Woo! Wow. Woo! Nice. Wow. <laughs> I'm the worst possible. You <laughs> are actually <laughs> the worst. I left the mana open for this card the turn before, but it was only two damage. Woo. If I had kept this, I'd prevent the damage dealt to me and put that many 1 1 counters on it. Mm. Oh. With the 31, that would have been. Fun, but mean, it yeah. wouldn't have saved me. It's yeah. one blocker. Could have been fun. <laughs> wow. The blue mage prevented that. Yeah, that'd be oh. true. GG, CGB. Holy moly. What a game. Oh. Nexus of Fate is a stupid magic card. You I guys. actually think you've called her three different names today Kazuma, Cosima. Cosima. Uh, it's, it should be Kazuma for Cosmos, I think. But, you know, every time I, I, call, I call it something else, you know? <laughs> every time. Holy cow! All right, um, so hmm. the Cool Stuff Inc. card of the game. Use the promo code CGB5 to get a discount at coolstuffinc.com. Maybe you can pick up a card of the game. Remember also to leave a comment, and I will be choosing this week's comment, who will get a $50 Cool Stuff Inc. gift card. And uh, Ben, card of the game. Yeah, it had to be my first play. The authority of oh, the consoles yeah. wow. help me out so much. It's great. <laughs> it's a great card. I have, I kind of have two because heroic intervention allowed me to ping somebody, and that was everything I needed. <laughs> After you guys just kept murdering <laughs> my friendly pingers. Friendly. <laughs> They're friendly to me. I mean, the fact that I, I think honestly, the piece of equipment that gave them all death touch was both the coolest and most yes. worst thing that you yes. could have played because immediately we actually had to stop I know. them. It was and so sad. I also think you got insanely unlucky that yeah. like he had Limvala. I know, I it was Star ridiculous. <laughs> like yeah. just the most accidental hate of all yeah. time. Yeah. I mean none of us were preparing for the pain <laughs> meta. I don't know. know. I'm just not sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny um, though. It's weird. Okay, so for me, in a practical sense, I would say Jace's Sanctum and Primal Amulet, very helpful, allowed me to play what spells I had, but also Shark Typhoon, nice. just so happy. I got to make sharks, even if it was right before I died, it, it felt great. I, Three I was excited. cards of the game. Yeah. yeah, they did bring. They home, were great. They did bring home the W in the end. <laughs> they did. Uh, mm -hmm. They weren't your sharks, but very they were much sharks. Mm -hmm. uh, on my brand Oof. to make some sharks. It was great. 
My card of the game is Gilded Drake. Mm -hmm. a, a very ex it's expensive, <laughs> but sometimes you're reminded why. Um, almost got to do the full stealing of all the commanders, and was really hoping that we I wouldn't have to put you through the endless Nexus of Fate loop I if I had just killed everybody with their commander damage, but. Uh, you guys were able to rally out of that and make it hard, but it was kind of absurd. I think I stole three or four cards. From yeah, Gilded Drake. that was awesome. Yeah, oh, my. Um, just, and Archmage's Charm got one. Yeah, just bouncing stuff back mm. and playing it again. So, a really sweet card, and first time I feel like I've really done a lot of ridiculous stuff with it. So, it was fun. All right, guys, um, I guess they might be back next week, <laughs> and I'm sure if they do come back, my performance today will not be forgotten <laughs> and you'll have to come back and see how quickly they absolutely destroy me. Thank you for watching this video. As always, we will see you in the next video. You're cool.